And like we men mentioned before, a tough morning across East Texas after last night's strong and dangerous storms. Many people will soon get a look at the damage left behind once um, morning comes and we have a sunrise there. Right, we have team coverage for you this morning. This is spanning all across East Texas. We've got Bryce Browneisen who is in Crockett and Narali Jaswal is in Gilmer where the Upshur County Sheriff tells us there is some significant damage to talk about this morning from last night's storms and several people who were injured just how bad we don't know. Narali, what can you tell us that you're seeing out there this morning? Yes, I'm in Upshur County where just last night a severe storm caused a major damage to the community. Many homes, structures, trees and power lines were destroyed from high speed winds. You can see scraps of tin sheets scattered all around the ground. It looks like it may be from a roof or a barn. There are still areas without power and responders are working to clear the roads. There hasn't been major flooding yet, but it is still storming. However, more damage damage will be revealed once daylight comes. As for now, it is recommended to steer clear from those damaged areas. There have been several injuries, but no deaths have been reported as of now. And first responders are asking the community for assistance in helping those who have been affected by the storm. Reporting live, Nurali Jaiswal, CBS 19. All right, thank you so much, Narali. And then our Bryce Brown Eyes and joins us from Crockett. And area also seeing a lot of damage this morning. Yeah, he's joining us from the Crockett Civic Center, where many people had to go to shelter in place last night when the storms started to roll through. Good morning, Bryce. Good morning, guys. Well, nothing really wakes you up in the morning driving over here than just seeing a huge flash of lightning just brighten the entire sky. And that's what we saw the entire drive down here. There were thunderstorms, lightning, heavy rain. And then once you enter Crockett, the very first thing we saw was a gas station that was completely demolished right on the city borders. Just, um, you go about a street down and there is a bunch of trees in the road. Power lines are down. We just spoke to a couple locals and they say that over half the city actually does not have power right now. It's still dark, so over half that city is completely pitch black right now. And there's also a lot of flooding. Like I said, a lot of the roads are covered. A lot of people have experienced difficulties getting through the roads because of the flooding, especially those in low cars. And another problem with the power being out is a lot of phone lines are down. So if you happen to get anywhere near those floods, make sure to turn your car the other way or try and take a safer route because if you get stuck, it might be tough to reach emergency services at this moment. And a lot of people are here at the Civic Center today just getting rest after that long night. It's been really difficult for a lot of the residents here that we've talked to. There is a decent amount of damage and as it gets lighter, a lot of people will be getting up for work and starting their daily morning commute. So we want to urge everyone to keep cautious, try and take the safest route possible and try to look out for others as well on the way there. So we'll continue to assess the damage and everything with the storm as it gets lighter here. But for now, reporting live in Crockett for CBS 19 News, I'm Bryce Brauneisen.